Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm just going to talk about um, about keeping interested. I just made a video. I don't know if I'll put it up. It just sounded so strange. But is it, I need things to con I need to have constant mental stimulation. Seriously, that, I think that pretty much sums it up. And something that, in in a way that something I can figure out. I can, you know, work it out see what how it works what happens and if you do this or that you know this kind of thing I, i've got to have that in my life or i just get bored with whatever i'm doing if there's you know if it's something that there's no way to figure it out kind of like an ai you know <laughs> try to figure out how how an ai works but yeah if, if it's just something i can't i get bored i really get bored if i and also if i can't make something change i'll get bored you know, if it's something that you can improve on, and it doesn't improve or doesn't change at all, get bored. And these these days, I am extremely bored with things because there's with the things that I'm doing. It's like there's no conclusion. There's no uh, oh, that I'm working on. There's no any set way things change too quickly, and that's a problem when things change too quickly. And it has in my lifetime seriously I mean this the whole technology went crazy since I can remember I mean I'm from the era when we had black and white TV and we were lucky to get the three channels yeah and your and your phone had a cord on it and it was either on the wall or it was sitting on a table and you didn't take it with you yeah I remember when my dad got his first cell phone I mean it was a huge thing about as big as a console in a car <clears throat> yeah, I think it was as big, but yeah, he he was on dialysis and he had to get one. Um, just to, that's a short version of it. So, but yeah, and nowadays, yeah, I put my phone in my car and it hooks to my, I mean my SUV, my new SUV. Gonna brag. <laughs> you know? I put my phone it, just in it and then the Bluetooth connects immediately and yeah you know I remember when I was 18 and I was coming back from my honeymoon so yeah I got married when I was 18 and I told Adam I said you know what we need this this world needs we need this little thing that sits in our dashboard that is a map and tells us how to get to where we're going and he said this he's an electrical engineer now <laughs> and also a, a, a programmer anyway he said uh, we'll never have that mm -hmm. yeah yes we do because yes I'm from the era of actually reading maps I do wonder if people know how to read maps I know when I was the last time I was working um, as a substitute teacher after you know I, I did that for a while off and on you know and uh I was working as a substitute teacher. You had to be, you know, a degree to do that, do it there. But I, I liked working with really. I liked working with the young kids. And people said you must be crazy to work with the, you know, preschool, pre not preschool, but kindergarten. And they had pre-K at some of these places. And uh, first grade, second grade, like that. And anyway. I would. I remember one time I asked one of them. I said, "Don't you ha don't you have any dictionaries in this classroom?" And she looked at me and she said, "What's a dictionary?" <laughs> I don't know. I think it was maybe third or fourth grade by then. I mean, that, the kids I was with at the time, substitute teaching, and they didn't know what a dictionary was. You know, actually, I think it was fifth grade. Yeah, and. I'm thinking, yeah, you don't know what a dictionary is. So I told, showed them they did have dictionaries and they were kind of hidden. And I showed them and they were like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. so where was I? Um, yeah, I back to the part about getting bored too easily. That's, yeah, me. I have to have something that stimulates me in my mind. And these days, it's like I said, earlier this about the AIs you're not going to be able to figure out an AI so you're not going to be able to figure out how something works you know because especially when it's ever-changing yeah so 
I don't know. I get bored with that. I used to like, um, I used to like looking at YouTube's analytics. Some of the stuff was kind of predictable, and um, but now that what's been over a year that I've been demonetized, <clears throat> it's just not that interesting. <laughs> you know? There's not much to see, really. I had to delete a clip there, but anyway. You know, it got boring, especially when everything just went weird, where you couldn't check this and you couldn't check that unless you were a big channel. Yeah, that, that just, mm. so that was something that, you know, was interesting to me. I didn't, I couldn't see that stop sign over there, but for them, not for me, I was already going. Real life happens, yep, in the middle of video. But anyway, I'm going to concentrate on this mall, although my SUV actually was stop <laughs> put the brakes on itself my new SUV I know I gotta brag but it'll put on its brakes if somebody like a kid is running out that's that's the, the example they gave is the kid is running out <clears throat> or um, you know somebody gets in your lane they actually said if you get in somebody else's lane or you go out of your lane and it does have that feature and I have it turned on but I don't usually go out of my lane um, but yeah or, you know, because it did it, it did it the other day twice. Remember I say I live in Narcissismville. And one of them was a, um, I don't know what you would call them, a trailer on the back, you know, of a truck. People who do lawn services. And he got too close to me. He went out over his lane and it beeped me like crazy. <clears throat> when I was backing out of my driveway, there was some, I saw her, there was a, when my neighbors walking their dog and it beeped that the, somebody was behind me walking my dog <laughs> you know well not it didn't say walking the dog but you know beeped at me until she passed um you know passed by and then that same day yesterday <clears throat> ouch it that hurt it also uh beeped me when somebody was in my in the other side of the lane in my lane yeah, because people are going to, you know, on the road around here, and you are in their way, so they're going to get in your lane because they own the road. Not everybody. Yeah, not everybody. Maybe the only thing keeping me interested, in, interested is seeing what else this SUV might do. You know, Adam was saying, we should test that to see if it will, you know, slam on. It doesn't slam on the brakes. It slows the, the uh, SUV down to where it stops before hitting something. But that's not 100%, of course, you know. You know. <clears throat> but they didn't say that. But, yeah, I can see. There's no way it's going to be 100% that it's going to stop you. And plus, you know, and I'd ask the guy, I'd ask the sales guy, I said, how does it know, you know, or does it know, or how does that work whenever it, um, does it slow itself down, or does it come to a screeching halt, and, you know, how does that work all around? <clears throat> so he explained it that it knows how it, you know to calculate how the distance and how much it has to, how fast it has to stop and you know all that so of course that would be the answer I knew that would be the answer I just wanted to see what he knew <laughs> yeah. oh boy I have been doing some rambling videos today much to my norm <laughs> yeah. but I really seriously I'm bored with it the topic I'm bored with you know bored with the topic that I usually do on videos the topics because I have more than one channel and um, bored with that bored with not being able to see anything interesting or to make anything change to see how it would change besides my SUV <laughs> really it's boring I, I need to, to shake things up and try something new and I just don't know what I haven't figured out the next thing. I have, well, there's some things I do, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Here's a real life question. Do you need to turn your blinker on if you're in a lane that they only go one way or the other? And, well, the lane you're in only goes one way. And that's by one turn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you really need to have your blinker on? It's been a long time since I've taken driver's ed. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, 
any new topics, any new interest, something to, that changes a little bit that isn't the same old, same old. I get too, like I said, too bored. Bored is the word. And uh, yeah, I know people have all kinds of sayings about when you're bored and why you're bored and all that. You know, one size doesn't fit all and so give it up. <laughs> you know? Maybe, uh, seriously, I think my next persona that I'm going to have for YouTube is going to have an attitude problem. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's, it's a bit, of, it's a bit <clears throat> different than my own personality, so I kind of like it. I, like I've said in another video, I'm not a great actress, but I, I want to try. I really do. I also wanted to try different things. Uh, as far as now that I have this SUV, I want to try going, um, doing they call staycations. You know, you stay at your home, but you go somewhere local to where you come home and sleep in your own bed at night, you know, but you go see attractions and stuff like that or whatever you're going to go see, travel to a place and just travel there and come home. Now, since I've gotten my SUV, what do you think? Storms, storms, storms. <laughs> it's not the kind of weather that I would do that in and the days that, the few days that uh, weren't bad, which, yeah, a few days that weren't bad, it was like Adam and I were doing things in the yard, um, garden yard and all that. So, because mo most days have been storming. Yesterday was really terrible storms. I don't know how many tornadoes touched down around, I'm in north central Texas. And um, it was north central Texas and northeast Texas also. I'm in north central. I don't know about what happened with north uh, west. I don't know. I didn't watch it when they were talking about that. But yeah, it was a day of it. A day of it. Um, I think at 1 o'clock, a little after 1, I t called Adam and said, because he said he was going to leave early because of it, early from work, and I called him and I said, I think you need to leave now. <laughs> you know? So, and it was before that, even, that there was this threat of tornadoes, tornado warnings, and all that stuff. Tornado watches and then tornado warnings. And, uh, yeah. Well, we didn't have anything bad, at least. So that was good. But, why did I get on that topic? I don't know. Oh, traveling. Yeah, I want to do, you know, daycations and staycations or whatever. And, um, you know, travel a little bit, do different things, you know, see different places. Although, I pretty much know most of the places that are nearby here. I still want to find some little small, I like small towns, even though I live in a big city. I live in a big city that's a suburb too, of Dallas. City that's a suburb of a city, big city, yeah. That one's traveling just a little bit too fast. A lot too fast. Anyway, I like downtowns, I like historic downtowns. You know, so I like, I like to go to these small towns that have historic downtowns. This isn't much of one. This, this place right here. This is not, yeah, it's not, uh, you've seen this place before, so it's not something new to me. <clears throat> but I like the old-fashioned ones, the old ones, old buildings, well, old for United States standards, Texas standards, so, yeah, and, okay, I think I've rambled enough. Don't you agree? Expect more of this. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this one up.